Well, the vice president of CBS, guys, has been fired. Has been fired from her position after making just, I mean, the most ridiculous, insensitive comments that you could possibly think of. Saying basically in a Facebook post that has now been deleted that the people that were shot up in Las Vegas during the mass shooting that killed 59 people so far and injured well over 515 others did not deserve sympathy because typically people that go to country music concerts are Republicans and they're gun-toting Second Amendment people who vote for Trump. Who in their right mind says something like this in the worst tragedy and worst shooting tragedy in U.S. modern history? It is absolutely despicable. People like this are absolutely despicable to come out and make comments. This isn't just some random, you know, dirtbag on Twitter making an asinine comment like that. No, this is an actual vice president of a major, major news network, CBS News. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't get it, guys. I, I just, I really don't, you know. It says here in the report that CBS has parted ways with the, one of the company's top lawyers after she said that she was, quote, not even sympathetic to victims of the Las Vegas shooting because, quote, country music fans are often Republican when discussing the mass shooting that unfolded in Las Vegas late Sunday night. It goes on here to say that Haley Geffman Gold, the network's now former vice president and senior counsel, said earlier today I posted an indefensible post in a Facebook discussion thread concerning the tragic Las Vegas shooting in a statement that I sincerely regret. I am deeply sorry for diminishing the significance of every life that was affected by Stephen Paddock's terrorism last night and for the pain that my words have inflicted on the loved ones of the victims. My shameful comments do not reflect the beliefs of my former employer, colleagues, family, and friends, nor do they affect my actual beliefs. This senseless violence warrants the deepest sympathy. I understand and accept all consequences that my words have incurred. So basically a forced apology, even though she has been now fired uh, from her position there. And uh, CBS released um, a, a statement of their own condemning this, uh, saying this is not what they stand for or anything like that. I mean, look, we know CBS is a, is a network that leans to the left. That's obvious. Okay. Um, but what this, what this woman did is just, it's indefensible. It, it's sick. It, it is truly sick. I mean, just it reminds me of what happened when the guy went out onto the uh, the baseball field when they were having the congressional uh, baseball game practice that the Republicans and Democrats have, and he was targeting Republicans, and he shot Steve Scalise, Congressman Scalise, who now just finally returned back uh, to the Senate. Thank God, and he survived that. But for this woman to come on here and, and say that she has no sympathy, look, I don't care what kind of a post you want to put up uh, apologizing. You're not sorry. She's not sorry for what she said. She meant that. She absolutely meant that. To say that it's because people, are, they deserve it because they're Republicans and country music fans. They listen, they are Republicans and they vote for Trump. This shows you. This shows you the kind of world that we are now living in today. Where this sort of behavior, this sort of response from these, I don't want to call her a person. I just want to call her like a creature. Okay. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. I can tell you that much right now. Everything that we've been seeing, guys, I'll tell you what. You, you never know. You, you just never know when it could all be over. And if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you today to make that decision. If you would like to receive him as Lord and Savior, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I promise you, it will be the greatest decision you ever will make. If you prefer, you can also email me directly, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. That's cardsfan480 at gmail.com. You can write me on there. Also, if you have any prayer requests, anything else you may need, feel free to write me a message there. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos.
with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.